go for your gun. I don't want to kill you, Moore. So I won't draw. So you're afraid to fight. Yellow, huh? Any of the rest of you cow hands think I cheated in that card game? Step right up. shot down the coyote right where he sat. There's six of you yapping curs from the Circle C. If you got any guns that want to swap the arms, you'll find that we don't fight with our jaws at the crossbar W. You keep out of this, Steen. I'll attend to my own affairs. There's two sawed-off shotguns covering everybody in this room. And the first man that makes a move will do his repenting up there on Boot Hill. I guess we better get going. But there'll be other times and other places. You boys go to the ranch. I'll meet you there later. You sure you don't need it? Nah, go ahead. Hey, wait a minute, Buck. I never saw a ward that wouldn't draw his gun. I couldn't shoot Patty's father. Besides, I think there was something crooked about that whole deal. There's apt to be something crooked about any card game as long as the Wolverine kid's around. Who's the Wolverine kid? Don't you remember the Plunkett boy that left town years ago with his uncle? He only came back a short time ago. Is that the fellow I hit on the chin? That's him. Where's he hang out? Nobody seems to know. He only comes to town every few weeks. Been seen with Pat Moore a whole lot lately, but I think that's on account of Patty. Pat Moore. The kid. I can't get it. Well, don't try. Let's get home. Silver down at the barn, unsaddling. I want to talk to Dad alone. Sure. with me and I wouldn't draw. So, you let Pat Moore insult you, huh? Not exactly that, Dad. 
Pat figured he was right. Come here, son. Come on. Sit down there. Listen, boy. I'm going to tell you something I should have told you years ago. When I married your mother, there were two other men in love with her. Pat Moore and John Plunkett. Moore went around like a crazy man, threatening to kill me. Plunkett said nothing. He was quiet, cold, deadly, and the fastest man with a gun I'd ever met. I knew it was with him I'd have to fight it out someday. Just three months later, they framed me. It happened in Sullivan's saloon. I delivered some cattle. It was on my way home. I walked up to the bar and right into their trap. They started to jeer, taunt me with their remarks. I stood it as long as I could until Plunkett shouted an insult to your mother. I grabbed Plunkett by the throat. We wrestled away from the bar. Plunkett pulled his gun, fired. Then things went black in front of me. And when it was all over, John Plunkett was dead. And one of his bullets had lodged in my spine. And I... I've been riding around in this go-kart ever since. Listen, boy. Moore and young Plunkett set a trap for you, just the same as they did for me. That was their way of getting back at me. The Wolverine kid is just as bad as his father was. He framed you so that Moore would have an excuse to shoot you. I can see it now. But I don't believe that Moore knew the kid did it. Well, maybe not. But did you know that young Plunkett had hired out to the Maxim Sheep Company? And that he's got 15 or 20 gunmen over at Brody? No. And if I am not wrong, they plan to drive us off the range around Spring Lake. If they do, the cattlemen are ruined. Does Moore know anything about this? I don't know. Listen, Dad. Why don't you two get together? They're both cattlemen. And at a time like this... Never! I'll fight my own battles. There were two of these. The Wolverine kid carries the other one. He sent me a warning and a boast that his gun would wipe out the Ward family and then he'd carry both his father's weapons. There can be no peace on this range until one man carries the two ivory-handled guns. I can see that. What's more got to do with this? I'm going over to his ranch in the morning to have a talk with him. You're what? You heard me. You're crazy to go over to Pat Moore's. I oughtn't to let you do it. Oh, Bushwall. As long as you're not there to start a fight, there won't be any trouble. Besides, Moore has a lot of brains. You go to bed and sleep it off. Anyway, I'll be over in the morning to scoop up the remains. What happened over at Sullivan's last night? What do you mean? Well, I overheard the kid and Steen talking about getting Buck. 
Young Ward was lucky I didn't drill him. There isn't a faster man in the county than Buck with a gun. I'm glad he was brave enough to take the things you said. He wasn't brave. He was a coward, a card cheat. Buck isn't a coward or a cheat. And he didn't discard four cards. How do you know? Because the kid can shuffle cards so fast you can't see him do it. He's shown me lots of his tricks and bragged he could stack a deck right under a player's nose. It don't make sense that he'd put a fourth card into the discard, unless he wanted me to shoot Buck. I don't think that was it. Then why? Oh, I know it sounds foolish, and I can't prove it. But I think the kid wanted Buck to get you. Me? It's the only logical conclusion. You wouldn't have had a chance if Buck had drawn. I've got nothing against Buck, only that he's a son of old Bill Ward. Hey, you don't love him, do you, Patty? I'm not quite sure. Well, no daughter of mine can ever marry a ward. If I'm ever sure I love him, I'll tell you. And I'll be prepared to take the consequences. I guess you would at that. <laughs> if I ever can prove what I think about the kid and that fourth card are true, will you apologize? I'd even apologize to a ward if I knew he'd been framed like that. And then I'd wring the Wolverine kid's neck for him. <laughs> I believe you would, Dad. How about those beacons? Are they set? The one at Spring Lake's ready. The boys are at Duck Lake now. Well, you better ride up there and check on them. All right, boss. What happened? You know what happened. Well, let's don't argue. Let's get him in the house. Don't touch him. Do you think I got to kill you where you stand? What's the trouble here? Listen, Pike. When you take Mr. Moore in the house, Patty won't let me near him. You get off this ranch and don't ever come back. Sheriff speaking. What? Pat Moore killed? I'll be right over. Patty taking it. What'd you shoot him for? I didn't shoot him. You didn't? No, I didn't. Where'd that come from? Picked it up the corner of the barn. Why? Whew. Let's get out of here.
Matt Moore is dead. Did you give him a fair chance? I didn't shoot him. I picked this up two paces from his body. The other ivory handled gun. The hammer went clean through and split the brass on both sides. Get rid of it, boy. It's bad medicine. I'm gonna turn it over to Sheriff. Well, here I am. Just come from the Moore Ranch. Well? I took this slug out of Pat Moore's body. It came out of this shell. Cartridge and slug, same caliber. Fired from the other ivory-handled gun. What? Two of them? Yes. Mine and the Wolverine kids. That gun never fired this shell. It must have been the Wolverine kid. Will Patty swear out a warrant against him? She'd come nearer swearing out one against me. You want me to bring in the kid? No. That wouldn't be right. If you ever found out you were on his trail, he'd beat it. Well, what's your plan? Deputize me. I'll bring him in. All by yourself? You might give Slug Nutty a badge. He's good on scooping things up. What? Hey, Pike, look. Patty and Steen. I wonder what she's doing with him. Maybe they're headed for the Circle C cabin over by Duck Lake. That's an idea. Listen, Pike. You meet me at midnight at our cabin at Spring Lake. Where are you going? I'm going to follow them. They may lead us straight to the Wilburn Kid. Well, how about me? Ain't I in on this, too? Oh, sure you are. There's a chance I may be mistaken about him being there. And if he's not, he's liable to head for the pass right by our cabin. You see that he doesn't get through. Well, if you ain't there by I midnight... I suppose you're coming along to pick up the remains, huh? Now get going, will you? Uh... Good evening, Miss Patty. Good evening. Sure tough about your dad. I guess Ward didn't give him a chance to draw. Please. I'm sorry, miss. Won't you sit down? No, thank you. Where's the Wolverine kid? Seen him? He rode through the gap toward Brody about two hours ago. Said he had some business to tend to. And he's figuring on coming back and filling Buck full of lead. That's what I want to see him about. I want Buck brought to me alive. I don't know as I blame you, Miss Patty, for wanting to do that job yourself. Should have shut him down when you had a chance. I hadn't made up my mind to do it then. Did you know the kid offered $500 for a buck of lion? $500? I'll make it 1000 And you can tell that to the kid when he comes back. Okay. But I don't think he wants you or anybody else to have the pleasure of killing Buck. He's going to do it himself. The $1,000 still stands.
tell you, like to scare me to death. You're a swell guard. What'd you find out? Plenty. The kid's in Brody, all right, and we're riding there in the morning. You mean just the two of us going into the kid's den, into a sheep town where a cowboy never come out alive? Now you're calling yourself a cowboy, huh? <laughs> oh. Well, naturally, the two of us ain't afraid of 15 or 20 gunslingers. No. Say, have you uh, seen Splinter around any place? Yeah, he's in the back room there. Oh, I'll be with you in a minute. I'm gonna raise that five bucks. And I'm just gonna call your five bucks. Hello, Barlow. Hi. Hi, Ken. How are you, Jayas? Ready to drive those sheep on the south range tomorrow? Yep. Everything's all set. You get back, Ward? Ward wouldn't draw on him, so I had to do the job myself. Are you sure we can trust Steen and his gang? Sure, Steen's all right, and he hasn't anybody we can't trust. Just how are you gonna work this? I'm planting 20 men in the gap down by Duck Lake. We got the Devil's Throat Pass barricaded with barbed wire. Then we're gonna light that beacon and let all the cowpunchers on the South Range right into the trap. Well, I got everything on this end ready. The sheep are all set for the drive and the boys are raring to go. I got the money from the sheep interest ready to pay you off the minute them woolies cross the mountain. Good. How about Buck Ward? I've given orders to take him alive. Take my advice. Don't try anything funny like capturing Ward. When you see him, start shooting. Hey, you fellas. Go along with the kid. I'll have the money here for you tomorrow night. All right. Come on, let's go. I can see blood on the face of the moon, Buck. What do you mean? Looks like they're preparing to move them their woolies. Well, there's just one way to stop them, and we're gonna do it. What's your idea? If we can find the Wolverine kid and do enough damage, I don't think they'll try to move that herd through. It's the Wolverine kid we've got to fight for this range, and I'm not going back until I find him. <laughs> kind of pretty, ain't it? What are you talking about? This hunk of tin. Oh. How much good do you suppose it'll do me in a rattlesnake's den like Brody? About half as much as a worn-out suspender button. Let's get out of here.
What's up? Buck Ward's right into town with that fellow Pike. <laughs> I ain't had any pistol practice in a week. Keep your eye down the street and let me know when Ward gets in gun shop. All right. The drinks are on the house. Give me a slug of that old demon around. Coming, huh? Brody looks deader than a doornail. I wonder where the kid and his gunslingers are. You won't be wondering long. No, I reckon not. Boys, you're about to witness some fancy shooting. Be careful of an ambush up around Barlow Saloon. Squinch joint. There's five of them. You better stay behind here, don't you think? That's a good idea. Get a hold of yourself. After you, Squint. I'm after the Wolverine kid. Where is he? Drop your guns and reach for the sky. Now get out of town and stay out. one that sticks his head out that door. I'm going around the rear. Right. Kid. I don't know. This is the last time I'm going to ask you, where's the kidneys gang? He came in last night and took every man. I don't know where they went. You better come through, or it'll be the last lie you'll ever tell. Where'd he go? He's gone to grab the Spring Lake Range. 
I reckon he's got it. That's all we want out of you, big boy. Keep him covered, Pike. We gotta fire those beakers. You take the one at Spring Lake and I'll head east. So long, so long. See you when the war's over. See? Easy. Yeah? Well, get down here and give me a hand. Oh, sure. Why don't we put a bullet in him and leave him here? Because the kid will pay 500 bucks for him alive. Oh, he's a piker. Paddy Moore will give us a thousand. I'm not dealing with dames on a job like this. Anyway, we're gonna take him to Duck Lake. The Wolverine kid's there. And he can give him to Paddy Moore for a wedding present if he wants to. Yeah, so what? Get up. Well, give me a hand, you sap. Come on. Don't do you no good to whistle. There's nobody around here but the kids' game. Do that again, and I'll knock your teeth right down your throat. Get going. Get on that
out. Why are you? Here's a rope. I'll go find the kid. There's a thousand bucks waiting for you if you just take these ropes off of me. And you won't have to split with Steen either. What good's a thousand bucks if the kid uses me for a target? Hey, what are you doing there, Pete? I'm playing safe. I'm gagging him. Yeah, well, get out of there. I want to talk to him. Well, how are you? Swell. Yeah, you look pretty nice and comfortable. Any idea what I'm going to do with you? Tomorrow, I'm going to take you down in the valley and hang you. And it'll be for the killing of Pat Moore. Don't kid me. A polecat by the name of the kid did it. Patty Moore was thinking too much about you, but I fixed that. I told her I saw you shoot her father. Well, you dirty skunk. Go on, lay down there. outfit comes racing through the canyon at sundown, they'll bunch up against barbed wire and there'll be a massacre of coyotes. And tomorrow night, there'll be nobody left of the Ward, Moore, and Plunkett tribes but Patty and me. Patty Moore's riding up. Just in case you might want to talk out of your turn. Sure, he's inside with the kid. I never thought you'd take him alive. Neither did he. Is he hurt? Oh, he's got a little bump on the head, but that won't keep him from hanging tomorrow. I'll bring him over to the Circle C tonight. Maybe we'd better get started now. No, better wait for Steen and the others. I'm taking no chances on his getting away. Where is Steen? He and the boys rode over towards Spring Lake to watch the Crossbar W outfit. Tie him on a horse. I'll take him over to the Circle C with me. No, the Ward cowpunchers might be out looking for him. I put up the money for Buck's capture. He's my prisoner. Take that gag off. I want to talk to him. Don't move or I'll shoot. Put your hands in the air. You thought I didn't know who killed my father. It didn't take me long to realize when I had time to think it over. Now untie him. Well, anyway, that's a good joke on Pike, letting him light that signal beacon. You know that'll bring every cowpoke from the crossbar W into Wolverine Trap. I don't think it's no joke. Let's get out of here. Get that piece of rope. We'll tie her to a tree outside. I 
needed you. A lot of good that'll do you after tonight. See that they don't get away, Pete. I'll be back. That ought to hold you. are coming through. You get on your horses now and pick up all the boys you can on the way. One of you stop and phone the sheriff. Now get gone. Quick, hurry. Bring some more brush, fellas. This will stop them, and our boats will do the rest. They'll never see that until they're right into it. And they'll never live to see anything else. Four feet. Out in the yard. Silver knocked him unconscious. Undo these hands. Kids block the pass with Bob Wire. Do you think you can warn the boys before they're right into it? Sure. How about you? I've got some work to do from this end. All right, let's go. nurses we saw won't be along for a half an hour yet. I want to sit down and rest. Say, if you don't like walking, why didn't you fall off of the cliff like Pike? If Pike ain't dead, I wouldn't be in your boots for a million dollars. Say, there ain't no man can fall off of that cliff and live. And besides, I put a hunk of lead in his heart that knocked him off of yeah, the Yeah, I know. And the kid ain't gonna know nothing if you keep your mouth shut.
Come on, Pike. The war is on. No place for a girl. You head for the crossbar W. You heard what she said, boys? No. Hello. Hey, listen, Pike. We gotta make them believe there's a lot of us. There is. You take that win, I'll take this one. Right. Come on. Buck, I guess the war is over. They get them rounded up, Captain. Those wounded, boys. It's not done. It's over. We heard the shoot that's about the canyon, and we figured it was you. Where's the wounded kid? He made his getaway. He didn't come out our way. Patty, did you see her? Yes. I sent her back to your ranch. I'll bet the kid's headed for the Circle C cabin thinking you and Patty are still there. That's an idea. Come on. I hear the guard a couple of people and all I find is your gun outside. I got away. 
You're telling me something. Well, I couldn't help it. There was a terrible explosion, and the lights went out. Oh, shut up. Where'd they go? How should I know? Listen, I've got an idea they'll be coming back here looking for me. If they do, you get them or I'll get you. Do you understand? Sure. All right, here. I'll be at the Lord Ranch. Big enough to throw a cat in. Where's the kid? Heading for the crossbar W. Chances are I can beat him there. I take him inside, tie him up, and follow me. Right. Get going. One peep out of you, and you'll have flowers drawn on your chest. Get off that rope. How do you think I'm going to tie you? Lay down. Put your feet up in the air. Pleasant dreams, you love. I want that other gun, Ward. The mate to this. You'll have to ask Buck about that. But if he has it, he won't keep it long. Yeah, don't be too sure of that. working out exactly as I expected. But at that, I've won hands down. I wanted you to see your son hanging out there to a tree. Sheep running all over your cattle range. Your last fight to keep the range has cost you plenty of blood, Ward. The cowboys and cattlemen ran into a barbed wire trap this afternoon. That's not true. I warned the men before they got there. You're planning up plenty of trouble for yourself, young woman. There are two bullets in this gun. One for you and one for your son. Are you two dirty renegades? Oh, shut up and sit down. And when it's all over, you and I are going for a little trip. Yeah. 